Hey everyone, this is another video about how making a reproduction of Super Nintendo game. This time we're going to see how to make a Star Fox 2 reproduction. Um, I've already made a long time ago a video about uh, my uh, Star Fox 2 uh, overclocked version and uh, how I use the custom adapter. This one is the V2 adapter. Gadget Yuki uh, made a video about it and had a lot of trouble because, uh, well, you need uh, an, art, an hot air station and um, uh, you have to solder it like uh, BGA, uh, BGA uh, stuff. So I made a new version, this is the V3 and this time I'm using uh, castellated vias and should uh, simplify uh, the, uh, the installation um, because uh, you don't need any uh, hot air station. This one is a little bit too high and um, I will provide in the description uh, a link to the right one. I will also uh, sh um, give you uh, the link to the new uh, version of this adapter. This one is the V1. The V2 will also have castellated gas. This is uh, the adapter I'm using to put a uh, new uh, oscillator and uh, overclock uh, the game. Uh, so if you compare the two uh, revisions of the adapter, as you can see now I have a long uh, and proper uh, space uh, for the um, capacitor on the PCB, so you should have more room uh, to uh, correctly align and place it. Also, if you compare uh, the thickness of the two boards, you will see that like, the new one is really really thin and uh, should uh, be more easier to put inside uh, the clamshell.
Now we've got everything uh, done, you will see that if you try to put uh, the PCB inside the clamshell, you will see that uh, the new mask from is uh, blocking by this piece of the plastic. So just remove it and then you can put back your PCB without any problem. The new thickness uh, of the PCB make, made it uh, really more uh, easier to put back and then you just have to close everything. I just need to put back the battery on the back and that's it. Thanks for watching.